Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about exceptions in Java. See, so whenever we are compiling and executing the Java application, in the process of compilation and execution of Java application, the right, chance of getting three types of errors. First one, compile time errors. The second one, logical errors. The third one, runtime errors. So first of all, we need to understand these three. So what are compilation errors? See, if you want to write any program, any instruction set, if you want to write, we must follow language rules. Every language, every language has some rules. These rules are called syntax rules. Syntax rules. If you don't follow, I think, but if you violate, so violation of these rules, violation of these rules results compilation error directly compiler will give the error message these are some of the examples in java suppose if you want to define any method any method if you define right is so a without without written type you cannot write any method let me show you a simple example parallelly See here, whenever we are defining one method, suppose main method only you can take, main method or any other method we can take. Suppose wide fun, one instance method I am taking. So whenever we are compiling, as of now, it will not give any error message because we follow the rules. If you remove this one, so then you will get the error. Invalid method declaration, Written type is required. Right? For example, if it is an instance method, <coughs> inside the instance area, we can use this keyword. As a simply, I am writing like this dot printing system dot out dot println this. Now you will not get any error message because this we can use in instance area and we cannot use this in static area. This is a error. The non-static variable, this cannot be referenced from the static area. Okay. See, whenever you are violating the language rules, so then automatically the compiler will recognize and it will give the error message. Right. These are called compilation errors. Next, what are logical errors? Logical errors means there is no error. No error at compile time and at run time. And at run time. But what is the error? But the concept is generate the output. Generate the output instead of expected output instead of expected output see for example this is the expected output you have written the code to generate this pattern this is your intention you have written the code is a two for loops or three for loops or whatever right this is your expectation but whenever you run the program right and here it is output is generated output is like this And this output generated, right? See, there is no compilation error. It will not give any compilation error, right? You followed all the syntactical rules, how you have to define the for loop, right? How to repeat the loop, everything you have written. But this is expectation and this is generated. So there is a logical error. If you change that logic, so then automatically what you are expecting, that output will be generated. Right, this is called logical error. 
and what are the runtime errors see that runtime errors also called exceptions runtime errors also called exceptions see these runtime errors are classes exception is a class and what exception will do exactly exception terminates the normal flow terminates the normal flow of program execution whenever exception occurs whenever the runtime errors occur then the program terminates abnormally in the middle the program will be terminated so that we have to control that we have to control runtime errors means what always occur at runtime one simple example right suppose in atm transaction in atm transaction just what is the procedure first of all insert atm card it will check that atm card that what you have inserted next it will ask enter pin number after entering the pin number enter how much amount you want to withdraw and then it will process the account after processing the account release the cash and finally release the atm release atm these are the things now what are the exception chances when you are inserting the atm card when it is checking if it is a valid atm or invalid atm nothing but authorized card or unauthorized card exception if the card is not authorized pin number success case and failure case if you enter a valid pin okay if it is invalid pin exception if the pin is not valid if the pin is not valid amount exception if the amount is not present sufficient amount is not present then process the account so chances no chance of exceptions maybe hardware failure or server failure that is right server failure or hardware failure exceptions so all these exceptions nothing but whenever you are performing the transaction or whenever you are performing any operation right you have to consider two things success case and failure case right any operation any operation may succeed or may fail may succeed or may fail that fail concept is nothing but exception that how to control that exception how to control that exception so that is what we called exception handling some of the examples we will discuss in the next video and how to handle the exceptions also we'll see okay thank you all